Okay, Frederick, here's that tutorial I promised you. Now, you told me that you were having problems doing a cross-dissolve to a Photoshop document. Let me explain to you why that's a problem. A Photoshop document is really nothing but a nested sequence. So the problem that you're having is you come to your Effects tab, you go into Video Transitions, you come down here to Dissolve, you twirl that one down, and you take this guy and you come and you try and drag it over here and you get this little black X. And it's not happy, and when I finally let go, it's it's just it's bogus. It's not working. Now the reason for that is that the Photoshop document title, if I double click on this, you see it's really nothing but a nested sequence. And a nested sequence has a finite start time. It's the zero time code. And there's nothing to the left of that. So when you come to here, you can't do the dissolve because there's no pad. Now one the simplest solution to that is to just drag in a little bit select right here and delete that and then you can drag your cross dissolve in and it all works proper the way it's supposed to. Um, however, I'm gonna I want to break you from the habit of using this effects tab because there's a much easier way to do that. I'm just gonna twirl that stuff shut. Actually I never even use that thing. I kinda of forgot it's there. A much quicker way to put a dissolve there is to just right click here and say add cross dissolve. All right, now that's the Photoshop document. Now there's another there's another way to do that that's actually a little bit easier. So the Photoshop document is a problem because it's a graphic nested in a in a, another sequence. But if I were to kick that thing out just as a picked file or a JPEG, I can just come in here and dissolve right now, and I don't have to worry about trimming in. So there's really an advantage to using flattened files over Photoshop documents if you don't need the individual layers. Now, one other step here I'm going to show you. Actually, I'll put that dissolve back in. Now, I've set this timeline up so that there's an inherent problem. If I were to play across these two shots, I see the mouse and I see the screen. Now, I might want to put in a dissolve here. So if I hit cross dissolve, you notice up here there was insufficient media. And as Joseph put it, you can't dissolve to something that's not there. And the reason for that, if I were to double click on the mouse shot, you can see my in and my out are the sum total of all the media. There's no pad on the end. And it's the same thing with the screenshot here. You can see my first frame is right at the very beginning. Not cool. So the only way to actually initiate a dissolve when you have no pad there is you've got to force some pad in there. So I'm going to uh, put some, uh, trim those clips back, delete that blank in between, right click, and there's my dissolve there. So now I have a dissolve between uh, the mouse and the screen, and a dissolve between the screen and the title. So there's your tutorial. I think I promised it to you before midnight. Good night.